Hi students, welcome to Ganesha's Mathematics class. In today's class, we are going to discuss the very very important chapter of second PUC Mathematics and that is Continuity and Differentiability. Well, this is a chapter which carries a lot of weightage both board's perspective as well as competitive exam perspective. So, as per the board perspective, this particular chapter carries a weightage of 20 marks in which 1 mark, 1 question, 2 mark, 2 questions, 3 mark, 2 questions, 4 mark, 1 question and 5 mark, 1 question will come for final board exam. Well, uh, this particular chapter has two parts. That is part one, which is continuity. And part two, which will be differentiation. From the continuity, you are going to get one question, which is of four mark. And from differentiation, you are going to get the remaining 16 marks. To understand the concept of continuity, we should be knowing the basics of first year's very important chapter again that is limits and derivatives. So we are going to continue whatever we have learned from first PUC that is limits and derivatives. From this the continuation will be the part continuity. So in today's class I am going to discuss all the basics that what all we have studied in limits and derivative that in the first year. Later on, we will continue with exactly what is continuity. Well, so let's begin with the concept of limit. Well, uh, why this concept of limit came into existence? That's the first question. Why this limit? came into mathematics. Well, to understand the concept of limit, let me take one simple example. Let me take a function f of x is equal to x square minus 4 divided by x minus 2. I have taken a function f of x is equal to x square minus 4 divided by x minus 2. So, if I ask you, if I ask you what is the value of the above function at x equal to at x equal to 1. So what you will do is, you just replace x with 1 and calculate the value. So what I will do is, 1 square minus 4 divided by 1 minus 2. That is, 1 minus 4 divided by 1 minus 2 minus 3 upon minus 1. So that gives me the answer as 3. Well, at x equal to 2, if I, let's say, if I ask you at x equal to 0, so what you will say f of 0. So you will replace x with 0. You will write 0 square minus 4 divided by 0 minus 2 which is minus 4 upon minus 2 and that gives me the answer as 2. So as far as this, this is concerned there is no issues. But the issue comes when I take when I take x equal to 2. So let's see what happens if I take x equal to 2. So f of 2 will be 2 square minus 4 divided by 2 minus 2 that is 4 minus 4 divided by 2 minus 2 so this is 0 by 0 here comes the big problem because as we already know in mathematics there is no meaning for expression something like 0 by 0 we generally call this as indeterminate form we call it as indeterminate form. Now, when mathematicians saw this, they got stuck at this point. So they come to know that I cannot find the value of this function at x equal to 2 because it is giving me 0 by 0 form. So for that, we need to do something. So they came with some adjustment. Instead of saying 0 by 0, which is indeterminate form, can we tell a different answer? I mean, the answer which can which can give me the nearest value 
which can give me the nearest value. So what they did is, instead of taking at x equal to 2, I can take, let's say, if this is the number line, minus infinity, plus infinity, let's take this is 0, this is minus 1, this is 1, this is 2, and this is 3. Okay, so instead of getting the value at x equal to 2, if I can able to tell the answer for this function just just left to the 2 so that lets me take this as 1.99999 or something like that so let me calculate the value of this function at very very left to 2 or i can also do that i can take very next right value that is 2.00001 because as at 2 it is giving me indeterminate value so instead of 2 if i am if i am taking a value very close to 2 on the left side or very close to on the right hand side if i calculate the function value at this point and at this point and if both are giving me the right answers sorry if both are giving the same answers then i can say then I can define something like this, limit as x approaches to 2. This means that x is going towards 2. Either x is coming from this side towards 2 or it's coming from this side. But it never comes to 2. So at this point, if I ask you what is f of x, then that will give me, let's say if I substitute x equal to 2.001 in this one, f of 2.0001, this gives me, if you calculate it, it will give, give you the value 4.00001. You can use your calculator and you can, you can get this answer. I already tried in my calculator and I got this one. Even if you, if you take 1.9999, something like that, you will get answer as 3.999. I have done both of this in my calculator and I got these answers. You can try that as well. Well, so you can easily see that. As I'm, as I'm going towards 2 from the left hand side, my answer is approaching towards 4. And as I'm also coming towards 2 from the right hand side, my answer is approaching towards 1, for 4, uh, 4 almost you can say. So hence, I can say the answer for this question will be 4. Well, so uh, getting, getting the value of the function just left to the given value we call it as left hand limit and generally we calculate with you by using limit as x tends to 2 minus f of x this is how we denote 2 minus means just left of 2 and right hand limit means limit as x tends to 2 plus f of x means i am taking a value right to 2 so, in order to limit to exist, both the answers, left hand answers and right hand limit answer, they should be equal. Then only we can say limit to a function exists and the value is calculated by using those, these two. So, this is how the concept of limit started. I hope you understood. Please pause the video to note it down. Well, my dear students, I hope you understood the concept of limit. Now, let's solve simple limits problems from first year. Let me take one simple question. You have to find limit as x approaches to 2, let's say x square plus x plus 1. How we solve this kind of problems? Solving these kind of problems is very easy. What you have to do is, you have to just replace x with what they have said here. So if I replace x with 2, I will be getting 2 square plus 2 plus 1. That is 4 plus 2 plus 1, which is 6 plus 1, 7. So this is an easy way to calculate the limits. Just you need to substitute whatever the x is approaching value. That approaching value should be substituted here and you should get the answer. Uh, for example, let me take one more question for you. Limit as x tends to pi by 2 sin x plus cos x. 
again solving is very easy you just need to replace x with pi by 2 so your answer will be sine of pi by 2 plus cos of pi by 2 sine pi by 2 will be 1 and cos pi by 2 will be 0 so answer will be 1 plus 0 is 1 so this is one of the easy way to calculate the value of the limit for the given function these are the functions but the problem comes but the problem comes whenever we have functions not simple one we have something called conditional functions conditional functions for example the one famous that you already studied in your uh, first year that is something called modulus function let us let me take the example of modulus function to make you understand what actually conditional functions mean so as you all know f of x is equal to mod x this is what actually we call it as a modulus function but in the background mod x is defined as something like this it's minus x if x is less than 0 plus x if x is 0 or greater than 0 this is how it is defined so such functions we call it as conditional function because there is a condition according to the condition the value of the function changes you can see if x is less than 0 it is giving me some other value some other value and if x is greater than or equal to 0 it's one more thing so the function is changing according to the condition so that is why we call it as conditional functions so in order to solve the limit for such conditional functions we are going to use the concept of left hand limit and right hand limit for such simple functions you can directly replace the values with the approaching value but in case of conditional functions we are going to do with left hand limit and right hand limit let me take one simple example and will tell you how we can do that so please pause the video to note it down well dear friends now you can easily see that i have taken a function which is a conditional function where the function takes the value 2x plus 3 if you take x which is less than or equal to 2 and the function takes the value 2x minus 3 if you take x value which is greater than 2 and they are telling me to find the value of this function sorry find the limit of this function as i approach this to 2 so for such functions we are going to go with left hand limit and right hand limit so generally we call this is left hand limit so limit as x tends to as i already told you left hand mi limit means 2 minus 2 minus is not same as minus 2 a lot of students get confused in that one yen tilkotar andre 2 minus andre minus 2 thara treat martare tappu 2 minus andre a value which is very less than 2 like 1.999 or something like that so f of x now limit as x approaches to 2 minus you can now see 2 minus means very less than 2 a small lesser than 2 so lesser than 2 either i have to use this function or i have to use this function but as i can see the condition says if x is smaller than 2 i have to use f of x as 2x plus 3 i hope you're understanding my point now so how to solve this uh, limit it's again very simple as i already told you 2 minus means very small small quantity less than 2 so for that you don't need to worry you just need to replace x with 2 only so if i replace that i'll be getting like this so 2 to the 4 plus 3 this is 7 this is how we get lhl and for rhl for rhl limit as x tends to 2 plus f of x so limit as x tends to 2 plus now f of x 2 plus means a value just greater than 2 so just greater than 2 means i have to use this function that is 2x minus 3 so if i solve again for solving this limit you just need to replace x with 2 you don't need to worry about 2 plus and 2 minus we just need to replace the value whatever you can see here 
So this is 2 to the then 4 minus 3 will be 1. Now we can easily see that left hand limit answer and right hand limit answer both are not same. Both are giving me different answer. So therefore you can write limit as x approaches to 2 f of x does not exist. So this is how we solve any question finding the limit whenever we have given a conditional function. Please pause the video to note it down.